Are you comfy now? Okay, she's comfy. Hey there, this is Foggy Fiction and I am Haley. I'm a writer living with mental illness, doing my best to show that mental health does not dictate talent or worth and hoping to encourage others to chase their dreams. This past Wednesday, I had my very last session with my therapist and officially completed EMDR. Let's talk about it. To start, what is EMDR? It stands for Eye Movement Desensitization, that's so hard for me to say for some reason, and reprocessing. And it basically means that we're reprocessing traumatic memories in order to change the way that my mind reacts to them and the negative beliefs that I have in relation to them. It's hard to explain what exactly happens during an EMDR session because it is different for every person. Hold on, gotta reposition. Good? We're good? We're good. Okay. To prepare for reprocessing a particular memory, my therapist would start out by asking me questions such as how that memory made me feel about myself and how I'd like to feel when I think about it. We'd go through all these questions and then we'd begin. Even though eye movement is in the name, we didn't actually use any method methods that involve that. Partially because I knew that that would make me panicky and mostly because it wouldn't work very well over Zoom. Instead, she would make tapping noises on her desk while I tapped along on my knees, keeping in mind those answers that I had given in the preparation as we'd went. That's a very simple explanation. It's hard to explain. I had an hour with my therapist every Monday and we would be able to reprocess one memory or most of a memory each session. Rarely were we able to do more than one memory in a session. This was not an easy experience. It didn't cure me. I still have panic attacks and none of my diagnosis have changed. But it did do so much for me. I don't find myself having as many panic attacks as I did when we started. I'm not having multiple panic attacks a day anymore. I'm not even having panic attacks every single day like I used to. And there's the heater. The memories that we, repro that we reprocess don't affect me the way that they used to. The biggest one for me is that I don't always immediately go into a bad panic attack when I think about the fact that I have to die and there's nothing I can do about it anymore. I'm not saying that doesn't ever happen anymore, but it doesn't happen every single time. In fact, most of the time it doesn't happen. I don't think I would have handled my experience with having COVID at the start of this year if it weren't for the progress that we had already made during treatment. It also helped my writing. When I first started EMDR therapy, I was struggling to finish writing my first book. We actually had that on my list of things to potentially reprocess because I felt guilty and like I was incompetent as a writer when I wanted so much to finish my story but couldn't bring myself to do it. By the time we got to that memory, because we reprocessed in chronological order, I had finished writing that draft and also completed another for a different book. I didn't even need to reprocess it anymore. I was nervous and skeptical when my therapist was first explaining EMDR to me. I did my research, I talked about it with my boyfriend, and just decided, why not? Nothing else was working for me, so why not give this a try and see if it might help me live life a little easier, a little better. And I'm so thankful that I went through with it. I'm thankful to my therapist for taking me on this journey and I'm endlessly thankful for how much it did for me. The biggest bad guys in my life are my own mind, and facing them head on when it felt like I was bringing a pool noodle to a knife fight, it was one of the most difficult things that I have ever done, and I am so thankful that I did it. I do intend to continue doing therapy as soon as I am able to. Just talking with someone every week has been extremely beneficial even before I started EMDR. It's weird knowing that I won't have that for a little while, but I feel more prepared for this now than I did a year ago. Again, I am not cured, and I still have the same diagnoses as I did before, but I think I'm a little less broken than I used to be. If you have any questions about my journey with mental illness and EMDR, feel free, feel, feel free, <laughs> feel free to ask in the comments. I'm doing my best to be open about my journey while sharing it with you, and I'm open to answering questions you might have about it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're interested in following my very clumsy journey as a writer living with mental illness. Yeah. Yeah. And enjoy the happy moments.